Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. So Sullivan Barrera gets the nod over Felix Valera. Uh, getting the majority decision in this particular fight, ladies and gentlemen. And heads off to him in his entire corner. Looking good. Looking sharp. Staying strong in there against a crafty veteran like Felix Valera. is not easy, man. Especially at the light heavyweight division. Let's get into this, man. Uh, we've seen Felix Valera look like his normal slick self. Uh, he's usually a counterpuncher, a guy who likes to fight very awkward, sometimes going from southpaw to orthodox. Um, he, he, he's always moving. He he fights very similar in the fashion to Arislandi Lore. Likes to be very non-confrontational, like, likes to lure you into traps. So stopping him can be very tough, man. He's a long, crafty veteran. He fights very long, um, has a pretty decent chin on him also. And on top of that, he can fight a bit dirty. So stopping a guy like this, it can be tough. It's not so much that he's better than you and you're, you don't have power and this, that, and the third. It's just that his fighting style makes it tough to, 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 to stop him because he's always on the move. And, and he actually tires you out. In attempting to try to stop him, we've seen this happen now with Sullivan, with Sullivan Barrera, also with uh, the WBA regular champion Dimitri Bivol. We have also seen that happen there also when Felix Valera fought him, and it was the same kind of outcome. Both guys always shined; they shined and they figured them out uh, pretty early on in the fight. And uh, just like Sullivan Barrera, he just pretty much did it with power and more aggression. Um, and Dimitri Bivol, when he beat Felix Valera, he did it with more speed and agility and, and the ability to put together combinations. But clearly in the Sullivan Barrera fight, man, he made it more of a tough man fight. And he showed uh, Felix Valera, though, even though you're more mobile and agile and try to try to lure me, I'm going to hit and land big shots on you. That's going to uh, eventually weigh you down. And that's exactly how um, Sullivan Barrera fought this fight. He, he rallied from an early knockdown to also knock down Valera. And also in the first round, they knocked each other down. And that just shows the resilience of Sullivan Barrera. It was the same way in uh, his previous fight. In which he uh, went down early on in that fight and he, he rallied back uh, to win that fight. So that's just, he shows a lot of heart in each and every fight that he's in. Even in the Ward fight, uh, you know, Andre Ward pretty much spanked him. But, it, you know, Ward didn't, you know, threateningly hurt this guy. Like, Sullivan Barrera was a young pup then. You see he's gotten much, much better since that Ward fight. And, and losing to a guy like Andre Ward teaches you a lot also. And you see that playing out in the careers of guys like Sullivan Barrera and even in say like uh um Sergey Kovalev. Sergey Kovalev seemingly a bit more humbled now since losing the war, but that's a separate video, man. But uh like I said before, Sullivan Barrera overwhelmingly this guy with, overwhelmed this guy with power, uh wearing him down, hard shots down the stretch, man. Um Valera for people who say he's a dirty fighter, that's that's an understatement. He always fights dirty. He's always known for throwing low blows and giving headbutts because he goes from southpaw to orthodox quite often. And, and, and that causes a lot of headbutts. And he, like I said, he throws below the belt quite often. And you don't want to say that they're intentional. But his style, the way he swings, him being long, and when he gets close on you, he hits you low. Hitting Sullivan Barrera several times, I think three three plus times that he had points deducted away from him, you know, for hitting Sullivan Barrera low in this fight, man. And he did the same thing against Dimitri Bivol. But Sullivan Barrera, man, showing to be the tougher man in this fight, looking solid. I like Sullivan Barrera, man. I like heavyweight. Um, and this now sets up a possible title fight for Sullivan Barrera in the um, foreseeable future. We've seen sitting ring ringside was Dimitri Bivol, uh, the guy who's coming off winning his WBA regular title against Broadhurst. Uh, and even in that particular situation, Sullivan Barrera felt as though he should have got that crack uh, a fight earlier. Man, the fight was easily possible. Both fights, both fighters are, uh, man, uh, are promoted by main events, Kathy Duva and main events. And uh, both fighters are pretty much signed under that umbrella with uh, Sullivan Barrera exclusively signed and and Dimitri Bivol being co-promoted by main events. So the fight is very possible. Both fighters fight on the same network, HBO. Um, and, you know, like I said before, Sullivan Barrera wanted that fight a fight earlier. But anyway, they gave it to Dimitri Bivol for the WBA regular title. He fought the number 11th ranked guy. And uh, he win he stopped him in the first round. And now he's the WBA regular champion. So given that now that... Sullivan Barrera has defeated Valera. This puts him in the, as the number one contender to that title or in the mandatory position for that title. 
it'd be interesting to see if the WBA would have both of these fighters fight for the actual super championship, which is the real world title in the WBA, man. Because this title that they're fighting for is uh, Badu Jack's old title. He vacated this title in the past, and uh, this is the regular title. This is not the actual world championship title, a title that we all wish that the WBA just get rid of for crying out loud, man. But they're fighting for the regular title, and hopefully since it's the number one contender and the WBA regular champion, they'll elevate their fight to the WBA super championship fight. But we'll see how that plays out. Nothing official has been announced yet, man. But going to be interesting to see how their upcoming fight will play out, man. Bivol being speedy young uh what he only got like 12 professional fights he's a world a regular champion already or a title holder or a belt holder whatever you want to call him at such a young portion in his career but he's fast he's young he's explosive some questioning his power i think his power is very much intact um it's going to be interesting to see how he goes up against a, uh his toughest challenge to date in Sullivan Barrera. Now, Sullivan Barrera easily had the opportunity to fight Sergey Kovalev uh, last night also, but he chose not to face Ser Ko Sergey Kovalev, who's also promoted by Main Events Promotions. He chose not to fight that fight because the money just wasn't there. Sergey Kovalev is a top-level uh, opponent, and if he's going to get into that type of level of fight, he wants to be compensated properly, man. The man got things to do. He's trying to bring his daughter uh, back from Cuba. Uh, uh, you know, he hasn't seen his daughter since she was three years old she's now 11 um he wants to be compensated properly man he just uh got his what well, i think it was his father that was ringside he just got him here so the man got things to do and, he, and if he's going to take on a fight that dangerous in sergey kovalev why not properly compensate him but clearly sergey kovalev got took into the cleanest financially by andre ward and rock nation man where he got basically nothing in that rematch against andre ward he got what the pay-per-view sales the crumbs that were left uh and andre ward got that guaranteed fat purse man and Left Sergey Kovalev not making much money in his last fight. And I don't even think he made that much in the first one either. But I know he definitely got taken to the cleaners in his last fight. So clearly, you know, Sergey Kovalev ain't gonna settle for a smaller that much of a smaller purse in his next fight, especially if it's for a WBO championship. And they couldn't line that thing up for Sullivan Barrera. It's very unfortunate. But him and Dimitri Bivol is still in a very good fight. I, I look forward to seeing that. Dimitri Bivol already stated that if he if he wins that fight, he has no problem with getting in the ring with Sergey Kovalev. Kovalev in a unified possible unified title fight um can't get man Adonis Stevenson in the mix of this man because he's affiliated with Showtime and he's affiliated with Al Heyman and uh they've been unable to get big fights done they're, they're, uh, hopefully they're they're building that Badu Jack versus Adonis Stevenson fight because he needs it man because all the action right now in that division is going down on HBO unfortunately for Stevenson man so unfortunately he ain't in the mix I wish he was in the mix I hope he gets in the mix I hope something can be done about that whole relationship and they get Stevenson in the mix. But hats off to Sullivan Barrera. She's clearly looking like a good fighter, man. Did take a lot of shots in this fight tonight that was very interesting. And he did fatigue later on down the stretch, but he showed heart. Something that we've never doubted that, Sir, uh, that Sullivan Barrera has ever had. Real shit. So to the next video, Main Man Made Man. Don't forget to subscribe to the Made Man 511 Facebook, Main Man Made Man Boxing Forum, Google Plus, Main Man Made Man. Um... You know, Valera, man, he's a crafty veteran, man. He'll hang around. He's like the Carson Jones of the light heavyweight division, for those who know that fighter, man. He's like that type of fighter to me, man. Always going to give fighters a tough fight, and you better figure him out early, or else you will risk the risk of losing to this dude, man. Real tough, gritty, gritty fighter, and I think he'll be just fine to hang around the light heavyweight division for a couple more fights, man. But, man, Sullivan Barrera and Bivol, man. Looking forward to this fight. Can't wait till they make this fight. Looking forward to HBO announcing this card, man. Um, it's going to be a very, very good fight. And the winner of that hopefully goes on to take on Kovalev, which, hey, nothing but explosiveness in that fight also. So we'll see. So to the next video. Peace out.